Powered by PopArt Video Productie. Sponsored by Vechtsportonline.nl Hi Khali, did you like to introduce yourself first? Tell us a little basic stuff about yourself. Hi, I'm Khalid Arab. They call me the Faust. And um, I'm happy to be here to give this interview to the fans. We make the best out of it. Thank you. We're, we're very happy to have you. Uh, first, your nickname. Uh, you got your nickname from your amateur days, right? Because uh, 37 matches, 34-1, 31 knockouts. Yes. That was the old days. <laughs> no, but that's what this uh, was from my boxing career. Actually, I, I talked to your trainer about about uh, how you're doing now, and uh, what your trainer told me, uh, Ramon Deckers, uh, was uh, you have great potential. You're doing very well, but you could do better. Yes, because um, the last uh, one and a half years, I have not been concentrated on the sport so much. But um, now it, I started again since January, and this year is going to be my year again. Okay. Uh, are you are you going to be at the K1? Yes, for sure. Do you know who your opponent's going to be? Um, not yet, but because uh, Maeda, who won the tournament, he uh, took actually my place against Melvin Manov. And uh, now we are looking forward to get a match between me and Maeda because he took my place. And this is what I'm preparing now for for and uh, I hope that they get this fight as soon as possible so um, I get the title which I deserve, deserve of course. So, so you're not going to participate May 16th? No, not on May 16th. Okay, okay. Um, I want to go, go back uh, to the <coughs> Grand Prix you won in, uh, in Las Vegas in 2006 because that was, that was pretty weird how that happened because let's start off what happened before the fight, before you even got to Las Vegas, what happened? Yeah, it was, uh, it was very early in the morning and uh, we were driving to Frankfurt to the airport, the whole team. But uh, I took my car with me because when we came back I had to do things in Germany, so I took my own car. And I dro drove with a friend of mine, Carlo Deckers, which is sitting over there. <laughs> and uh, he, um, we were in the car driving very fast. We were like, 220, 230, I think. And all of a sudden, a car just tried to, to pass another car, but he didn't see me coming. And um, then, when he saw me coming, he pulled it back and started spinning. And then, that's, uh, that was the moment when he, where he hit us. And we also started spinning. And, uh, yeah, we were spinning and spinning, and the airbags turned on, <laughs> and all these things. So, you cannot see nothing, and you're turning around with 220 or 30. But then when we stopped, we were actually waiting for the big bang, you know, because we thought that other cars are going to hit us. So uh, when we opened the doors, we saw that we are in a field. And uh, luckily, so we got off the car and uh, um, I call, they called the police, of course. And the police arrived five minutes later. We had to leave to catch the flight to Vegas. So we, took, we also called a taxi. And um, we went with a taxi to the airport and uh, got the plane to Vegas, won the tournament, and came back. So you got out of a crash, called a taxi to get to the airport to catch a plane to participate in the Grand Prix in Las Vegas. Yes. Exactly. Okay, that's pretty amazing. But you say it was it was luck. Is there anything else you believe helped you in that crash? Made yeah. it made it so that nothing happened? Yeah, it was God's will, me to to fly to Vegas to survive this. Uh, this accident and I'm I'm very strong believer and I believe everything is written what anything what happens is uh, is already written for you you know okay okay it's not my time okay and we're glad for that uh, out of curiosity did anybody get hurt did the other guy get out alive or no 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 he was shocked for two days <laughs> no he was okay of course we were the same, you know, we were like looking to each other and uh, we thought, hey, what's happened now? <laughs> and uh, it went okay. Everything was good and no problem. Just, of course, the car was total crash and they threw it away basically after that. But doesn't matter, you know, it's just the car. 
all that matters is that you have your health. Yeah. But uh, then you got to Las Vegas and uh, you you started uh, fighting, but uh, you didn't you didn't win all the all the matches, did you? No, I lost the. F- I won the first one and I lost uh, the one with Carter Williams on points. Yeah. But uh, because he got heavily injured in the fight, I broke his nose and yeah. his uh, cheekbone and stuff. So he couldn't continue. And uh, then, of course, I had to jump in again and I won the tournament. So uh, y- you have an amazing record. Uh, you have good luck. <laughs> what uh, what else do you have? Uh, what, what are your hobbies? What do you do? What makes you tick? I love uh, being with friends, family and uh, traveling, of course. Um, enjoying life. I love good restaurants. Nice things. Okay, okay, it's good to hear. Um, you uh, you don't you don't only uh, uh, kickbox, but but where is kickbox on your list of priorities? Um, now it's at first place again. You know, th- like I say, the last one and a half year was not uh, the focus on on sport. But uh, like I say, now I started again, and I'm really gonna kick ass this next couple of years, which I still have. You're gonna you're gonna take 2009. 2009, 10, 11, 12, I will take them there. Okay, and, and we wish you the best of luck with that. Thank you very much. Thank you for the interview, Thank you. and uh, we hope to see you again, maybe on, maybe at the K1, yeah. who knows? Big Box TV.